keep it simple. A simple life is a beautiful life. Good morning everyone, welcome to Just Keep It Simple. Today I want to report this lip tops. Um, I felt even after I water, it's not getting the water it should. So I believe the soil has already been consumed basically by the lip tops. All the nutrients from the soil are all consumed previously. So therefore I want to report this and uh, replant this lip tops. Uh, again into this pot. Now this pot has a lot of drainage hole here from the side as you can see. One, two, three. This is a very good aeration uh, pot if you are worried about your lip tops and drainage issues. So therefore I have prepared a brush. I'm gonna put aside. I prepared a tweezer and a scissor too. Now so what I'm gonna do is just remove this whole thing. Just squeeze a bit on the side. It should come out. Mm, this is the things that I don't need. Now as you can see, it's all fully consumed. It's all hardened. The roots are all over the soil so that is the reason for you to repot now i'm just going to break it down after you break it down you want to remove this one by one and to use your hand you can like this if you don't have a brush you just use your hand and clean up the soil like this okay and immediately i will also trim the roots it's kind of soft so it needs uh, good watering to put that there now I'm going to use my hand again so what you do is just squeeze out the soil clean this up and cut the roots see that white spot there that's why I want now this is done so now if I have a brush like this or you have a brush like this you can use the brush and not dirty your fingers and easily it comes off and trim the roots again so I trim it really short because that's the way I trim my roots can see that white part in the middle. I take the tweezer and do this. Clean this up. Okay. That's done. So I've removed all the lip tops for reporting. I'm going to use this with drainage. First of all, I want to wash off all the salt. Now, I'm going to 
use that same plastic container I have. It's gonna fill up with um, hungaisite. You can use powder, mine is liquid. So. with water and pour all those in and soak for about um, 10 minutes so it's already 10 minutes so I want to drain this out so I'm going to take another empty container and then the one the pot that I have with drainage hole so what I'm going to do is three days and then I will do another YouTube for reporting into the soil. Here are the lip tops that has been trimmed and dry for about three days as you can see it has all colors means they have all healed yeah the roots after trimming so i'm going to plant it in today so i'm going to start with the big ones so the soil i'm using is 70 grit and 30 percent peat moss let's start with the big ones here it's kind of dry but you know no worries just plant it in and water it after a week and uh, consistently water after three days provided your soil is dry yeah? so the 3 3 3 ratio is after your soil is dry if after three days your soil is still not dry as when you hold the pot or if you put a toothpick inside and it's still wet then don't water yeah so 3 3 3 ratio is based on the soil that is dry oh I have a twin head here see it's so dry so wrinkled I have a shadow here it's okay well very cool but no worries some scars well they are plants so like I always said, they are life plants, so you don't expect 100% uh, plant without scar or perfect. So if the scar is dry, then it's fine. There's no worry about it. Oh, I've got another twin head. Nice. I like the contour here. Hmm, we'll put it aside here, spread it like this. So completely this soil is dry, eh? this dry is dry and uh, some people will want to miss the soil a bit before planting but I'm, I'm planting in a very very dry soil. So all the twin heads, I want to put the twin heads together. <laughs> is small it's small and it's good you know if you stay in a, a small premises and you don't have much space and you want to try out planting actually lip tops is a good plant or some other small succulent plant um, so a lot of people do fall in love with it mm, what's happening okay so things like that you can plant at home but 
if you have killed few times, uh, one time lip tops, don't don't give up. You know, a lot of people buy lip tops and then they bring it home. It's in the soil, yet you know after a while they they die, and people tend to give up and say, oh, it's very difficult to take care. So, just like us growing up, as we grow, we learn our mistakes and we move on, and continue to learn, finding the right. Soil for them, finding the uh, right ambience for them, as in sunlight, uh, good aeration. Those are very very important. Um, some also will decide to buy small lip tops because uh, people always think that as a beginner we should start small. But if you ask me, um, the small lip tops are pretty difficult to take care compared to the bigger ones. Because uh, they are not stable yet, uh, so I would suggest if you are a beginner, you can try to look for medium size to uh, bigger lip tops to take care instead of going to the small ones. Yeah, uh, well and good if the lip tops comes in um, pot and soil, but somehow or other, eventually you will need to uh, repot them reason being they need new soil to grow mm, so therefore do look into bigger lip tops uh, if you are a beginner so i'm just, just going to squeeze because i got some space here just going to squeeze i have a mixture of different size in this uh, pot here and uh, oh this is um, what you call it fluorescent this fluorescent i don't think you can see from my camera it looks yellowish but it's kind of fluorescent from my side here it's kind of pinkish it's kind of pinkish uh camera always don't really phone camera especially don't really capture the the color but that's fluorescent and uh, oh i have a dorothea here yeah it's not focusing Dorothea here as well. So, do you want to put it in? I'll put it with my Dorothea. I'll put it in my Dorothea. What else can I squeeze here? Some small ones. Mm -hmm. And some here. Okay. I think that should be sufficient. Okay. There you go. Now this has been uh, dry out for about two three days after I trimmed their roots. Now I've potted them, and uh, I will not water this until seven days later, and then I will water this. Uh, so how I water is I will always soak into a pot of water, a pot of water that should be just here one third yeah one third of whatever pot size you have and i'll soak it in for about five minutes yeah five minutes uh and normally five minutes and less yeah uh, as soon as i see the top is kind of wet yeah you can see it gets darker in color as the water seeps up then i'll just take it out and put it in a very very good ventilated area uh, ensuring that the soil dry within three days if the soil don't dry within three days then i won't water until i see the soil is dry now normally the soil that i have will dry within three days and uh, based on uh, the ventilated area that i'm going to place them maybe in front of a fan or outdoor under a shade which is very good windy area so the soil tends to dry up you know because the wind will help to dry up the soil as well um, so therefore if the soil is not dry after you water after three days don't water if the soil is dry then you continuously do a second uh, watering on the third day and then following the third one if you feel that they have all plumped up and you're very happy after your first watering then let it go you don't have to water again okay if you still see some of them are still wrinkled then take your water bottle and you can just use that one with the uh, gooseneck yeah and you can just water the part uh, the lip top sorry the lip top that is wrinkled if you want to do so otherwise you can just let it go and the, the lip tops won't die if you underwater them 
but they will die if you overwater them. So remember that lip tops are waterholics. They're not alcoholics, but they are waterholics. So they don't know when to stop drinking water after you provide them water. So um, make sure that you don't overfed them with water. And secondly, you must have good sunlight. Yeah, good sunlight or under a grow light. A grow light at least. Yeah, at least a eight hours grow light. Uh, for each day and then good sunlight good ventilation yeah good ventilation if you plan to put it indoor you must have a grow light um if not you put next to the good uh, to the window sill which have very good morning sunlight yeah have good sunlight and uh indoor would also need fan yeah fan because that would create ventilation like a natural wind if you put outside it has to be at the shaded area that don't get water especially when uh, raining season is concerned they tend to get water and then you wouldn't know the next day you get up and your lip tops just melt because of the rain the day before so make sure it's shaded area when i say shaded area means away from water but has good sunlight so i will let you find that spot in your home and good ventilation yeah so remember yeah soil is important for your lip tops yeah soil is important how you mix your soil this is uh, a 70 percent uh, grit and 30 percent peat yeah so soil is important fungi side insecticide rooting powder that is mixed in the soil is important especially for your reporting and then following good sunlight good sunlight and good good ventilation yeah good good ventilation so remember all these are their requirements yeah so um i hope you can follow this uh segment uh, as simple as i said but do try out there may be failure in between the way don't give up uh, continue to strive uh, and continue to grow this if you are you are in love with this plant okay so that's it for today uh, of this uh, video and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and uh, i'll see you in my next youtube bye bye